The Magic Space Pyjamas by Teddy Snuggletail for Comfy Corner Time. James clutched his favourite toy rocket, tears brimming in his eyes. It's bedtime, little man, his father prompted. Each night was the same, ending in an epic struggle, with James crying himself to sleep. He simply couldn't part with his precious rocket. Observing this, his dad had an idea. When James retired to his room, a mysterious box sat on his bed. What's this? asked James. It's a magical gift, replied his father. James paused. James didn't know what to choose. His rocket or the surprise? Reluctantly, he passed his father the toy. We'll open it, prompted Dad. Yay, shrieked James. It's space pyjamas. In the blink of an eye, James had changed into his new attire. Oh, they're amazing, he exclaimed. These pyjamas are magical, explained his dad. They can transport you on the most incredible adventures. James' eyes widened with excitement. As his head snuggled into the pillow, his father began. They help you dream, said his dad, placing the rocket on the window sill. The moon and the stars shone behind it. See, James, it looks like it's flying. Yes, it does, smiled James. Why don't you close your eyes and imagine you're an astronaut? Your rocket is waiting. Buckle up, little man. It's time for adventure. Intrigued and a little less resistant, James closed his eyes. Take a deep breath. You need to calm your nerves for when the engines start, his dad prompted. Countdown has begun. Five, four, three, two, one, lift off. The rockets roared. James took a deep breath and held on tight. Soon he was floating, no longer in his room but aboard his rocket, soaring towards the moon. With a sputter and a roar, the rocket touched down. Floating to the door, he opened it. The friendly figure of a man greeted him with a smile as bright as the moon itself. Hello, I'm the man on the moon. Would you like some cheese? Cheese? asked James. Yes, it's special cheese, moon cheese. It will help you remember your dreams. Oh, OK. How do you know my name? asked the curious James. I've been expecting you. Come on. He patted the ground and plonked himself down on the yellow carpet of moon dust. They sat down to a little midnight feast of bright yellow moon rock cheese. This is the most delicious thing I have ever tasted, exclaimed James, eating hungrily. Well, eat up, young man. There's exploring to be done. With that, the man on the moon thrust his cheese and crackers into his pocket. Save a bit for later, eh? he said with a wink. Together, they explored craters and valleys, marvelled at the earth from afar, a beautiful blue orb suspended in the starlit sky. The man on the moon shared stories of space, each tale a shimmering fragment of dream fuel. The night passed so fast, before long it was time to go back home to his cosy bed. 
Landing his rocket softly back on the windowsill, James stirred, the morning light gently peeling open his eyes. Excitement bubbled within him as he remembered his dream. Daddy, Daddy, he called, running barefoot down the hall. I met the man on the moon and the magic cheese that helped me remember. James couldn't contain his excitement. Come on, James, honey, eat up, his mother coaxed. But mummy, I ate so much cheese last night, I'm not hungry. James's parents laughed. They listened to his wonderful stories of craters and valleys, how he had eaten supper with the man on the moon, how brilliant the rocket was. It was the best dream ever. I can't wait for bedtime so I can go again. Everyone laughed. Visit the magical world of dreamland, where imagination unlocks the door to great adventures. Thank you.